the Lord that our founding fathers trusted in is the same Lord that Moses trusted in, the same Lord that Abraham trusted in, that all the great heroes of the faith in Hebrews 11 trusted in, and it's the same Lord that we're called upon to trust in. And he's worthy of our trust. We're also told in 1 John 4 and verse 8 that God is love. Not just that God loves us. We're told that too. But John emphasizes not just that God loves you, but God is love. Love is the, God sets the very standard of love itself. And you say, well, what is love? Well, love means a lot of things. Paul elaborates on this in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. But the first thing we have to understand is love is action. It's not just a feeling. In our society today, we believe love is just a feeling. It's more than that. There are feelings that accompany love, but love is really an action. It's a choice. It's a decision. It's a commitment. And Paul describes the attributes of love in 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. You know, all of these things. Uh, And God is all of that. And I want you to know, there are many people today that struggle with identity issues, and with self-esteem issues and self-worth issues. There are many people today that can't forgive themselves because of past mistakes they've made, past sins they've committed. But I want you to know something. You serve a God who knows everything about you. You can't hide anything from God. You can't put your best foot forward with God and hope that he won't figure, any, figure out the real deal with you. You know, I'm going to pick on Kyle again. And I, I love this man, okay? I want him to know that, but... Uh, uh, but it's fun to pick on him. So, uh, and he dishes it back, believe me. So uh, uh, we, uh, uh, but you know, when Kyle interviewed, he put, I'm sure, his best foot forward. In fact, one time he cheated. Uh, and uh, uh, Ro- Rob Woodside and I interviewed him. Uh, we, we had a little follow-up interview with him on uh, uh, Skype. And Rob knows what I'm talking about here. And so we're talking to Kyle, and guess who comes into the picture? Sawyer. All right. <laughs> Now, that is cheating, you know, and I said so when we, when we, uh, after we hung up and stuff, you know, uh, so that's putting your best foot forward, you know. Uh, now, we, we, as people, we often do that when we go on dates and stuff, you know, we put our best foot forward and things like that. We want to make a good impression, but what I'm trying to say is you don't have to pretend with God. You don't have to, and this is a big one because a lot of people have had a difficult upbringing, and I'm very sensitive to that. But you never have to earn God's love. Let that sink in. You may be in a situation where you feel like you've got to do a bunch of things in order to earn the love and approval of other people. You never have to do that with God. God loves you, all your flaws, all your weaknesses, all your problems, and he loves you. You say, well, how much does he love you? Well, you know, I love the song, Drops in the Ocean, you know, right now. Uh, He loves you as much as all the drops in the ocean. I love that song. It's a beautiful song. But he loves you enough to send Jesus to die for you. He loves you. 